All right, we're gonna restring a guitar. First thing we need is a winder. This is like 75 cents at Long McQuaid. All right, come over. If you go one way, the sound goes up, you're going the wrong way. So you're just gonna unwind it all the way. You're gonna do this for all the strings. All right, so we got all the strings undone. All right, you can see it look like that. Now we need to take out the pegs. And they look like this. Kind of look like teeth with roots. So we come over here, and at the end of our peg, there's like a, there's like a spot that works to pull it up like a hammer. So we come in, we stick it under, and then we'll pull it up. Next we get our strings. I use a Martin acoustic string. Uh, the light brand or the light version. Okay, you use whatever you need. You open it up, and inside the strings are individually packaged. All right. So the smallest one is called the first E, and okay, we're gonna get that out. And I will open all of them. Okay. So the first E. Take it over here. I'm gonna pop it in. Okay, we're gonna essentially we're gonna take we're gonna take it, put it in the hole like that. So we put that in the hole. Push it down. Alright. Then we leave it to the side, we get the next one. Number two. Stick it just to the top front of the hole. Push it down with the peg. Okay. Let it sit. We'll continue doing that for all the strings. We'll see you in a second. Um, Alright, so this is the time if you wanted to like grab a cloth or just kind of wipe some dust away because there's no strings there. Alright, so the, take the first string, the biggest string. Alright, and it goes into the groove. Alright, now here's the secret. We're actually going to cut it beforehand. So this string, the first string, is going into this first winder, okay? We're actually going to hold it past, and we're going to cut it at the winder after it. So it going, it's going into this one, we're going to cut it here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and snip it. Okay, there's off. Okay, And that'll make it the exact perfect length, and I'll show you why. So I stick it through, so it's sticking out just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to hold it two fingers, one onto the wood and then one onto the neck. Okay, and I'm going to turn it. Now, come really close, come really close and go right on top. All right, now you watch the string. As I turn it, if we're going and it's going toward the outside of the guitar, you're going in the wrong direction. Okay. We have to turn it so it's pointing to the middle of the guitar. Okay? This will make tuning make sense when all the strings are the same. Now I'm pushing down with my thumb and my finger and what that's going to do is allow it to wind along in a nice even and neat looking. Can you kind of go down so you can see it up from the side? Alright, so now watch. As I wind it, you'll see it's starting to, to stack on top of each other. And by pressing it down, it'll go. Okay. So I'll do the next one. Okay. It's going into this one. So we're going to cut it at the next one. Cut it, I turn it, and it's going the right direction towards the middle of the guitar. And it goes nice and fast. And you'll see it stacking nicely. And now it doesn't really matter what, what tension I get it to. So if you come in really close, come in really, really close, okay, you'll see how there's two, uh, there's two levels, okay, here. There's two levels, all right? If there's like, 
less than one, your, your guitar string is going to come out of tune quite often. Okay, And if there's like four or five, uh, it looks terrible and uh, you could struggle with tuning. So two to three wraps is the perfect amount. And so when we cut it before we put it on, that's where we get the perfect amount of wraps. So I'm going to continue doing the rest of them and uh, I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so I use this app that plays the sound. I just want to get it close to the sound. I don't need to get it close, like, exact. Do you have a piano or something? You can use the piano. Okay, so. So I get it close enough, okay, and then what we do is we have to stretch each string. If we don't stretch the strings, it'll stretch on its own. So we put our fingers under and our thumb down, and then we push down on our thumb and we pull up with our hand. Okay, and that'll stretch the string. I'm not pulling that hard. You want to move up a little bit, kind of stay just by the, by the sound hole. You go to the next one. Well, actually, you'll hear right away the sound. Now it's way out of tune. Okay, and that's because these strings are stretched, and so it's important that we stretch them before we play, or we'll be very frustrated. If you do pull too tight on these last couple strings, they do break sometimes. So don't don't crank on it. Just a gentle tug. Okay. And then I go and I get the sound. Again, just getting close, and then we'll come over here to our tuner and we'll actually. Try to get it exact. Okay, so now I'm just going to tune it as if I normally would. 